In this video, I show you how to build a washer toss game. Hi, I'm AJ and you're watching Woodified. I make DIY and woodworking videos. If you'd like to learn how to do stuff yourself, please subscribe and click the bell notification button so you don't miss any of my videos. The first step is to cut your materials to size. I cut eight pieces of two by four that are 14 and a half inches in length. I then cut two pieces of four inch diameter PVC pipe, three and three eighths inches in length. I cut two pieces of three quarter inch plywood. You could also use half inch plywood. That would work if that's all you have. My plywood is 16 inches square. Find and mark the center of the plywood squares so that your X is longer than the diameter of the PVC pipe. You'll use the X to line up the brackets. I use a drafting compass and measured out the radius of the pipe. That's half the diameter. I set the compass in the center of the plywood and drew a circle. The circle will be the guide for attaching the pipe to the plywood base. Here I'm marking the center line down the edge of the boards so I can get the screws lined up. It's not important to line up the screws unless it will bother you later. Next I pre-drilled the boards to help prevent the boards from splitting. Here's a tip. While the boards are lying flat, get your screws started. I find it makes screwing the boards on the edge a lot easier. Notice how the boards are laid out and screwed together. The screws go through the edge of one board into the end grain of the next so that no board has screws going through the same direction at both ends. This makes cutting your board simple as all sides are the same length and assembling the parts is faster than say using mitered corners. I did make a set with mitered corners and it took much longer to build. And if your miters are off just a little bit, it will show. Lay out the PVC pipe on the circle you drew earlier and mark the location of the L bracket holes. And do this on the opposite side of the pipe. I was making these with four L brackets on each box, but I find the pipe holds well with only two brackets. Drill the holes in the PVC pipe, then insert the bolt and loosely tighten the lock nut. You want the L bracket to be able to move around a little bit until you put the screws in the other end of the bracket. Using the X and the circle to guide the pipe position, screw the L brackets onto the base. With both brackets screwed to the base, tighten the lock nuts on the bolts. With one washer box complete, repeat the steps to build the second box. I'll put a materials list in the description below with links to where you can buy these materials on Amazon. Using the link will help support my channel and it doesn't cost you anything extra. However, some materials like the PVC pipe, plywood, and 2x4 studs can be found at your local hardware store. Before painting your shiny new washers, you need to rough up the surface so the paint will adhere. I don't recommend using a belt sander. A quick hand sanding will do the trick. Here I'm using some cardboard and wire to hold the washers while I spray paint them. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button or leave me a comment or be awesome and do both. See you in the next video.